Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay here and I'm bringing you guys a brand new beater box slash mystery box. I know it's been a minute since we've done one of these and I've been getting multiple DMs, multiple requests. So now we're right here and we're coming back at it with the mystery boxes. I don't have much room to have this box on camera, but it's super heavy. It's like a Home Depot moving box, you know, the typical mystery box form, but I'm gonna be opening this up showing you guys the sneakers that I'm able to pull from this and hopefully turn a profit. Now, if you haven't watched these before, all of these shoes will be on my website at shopsoltopia.com tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I also do have a couple other shoes that I'll be adding to the website. So if you guys see anything you like, make sure you set an alarm because these shoes tend to fly pretty quick. It's been a while since I made a video and that's because I've been doing a lot of back end business stuff. There's just a lot of things going on and I had to put the content to the side a little bit, but your boy's back at it, trust me, so. We got some uh, pretty cool projects coming up, but I just want to tap in, do this little video, and see how y'all are doing as well. So let me know in the comment section down below how you guys are doing. I'm ready for summer. I don't know if y'all are ready for summer, but I'm feeling the sun rays, man. I'm feeling the vibes. Okay, so we're just gonna pull shoes. I'm gonna have the competitive market price. Based on the current condition of what they're in right now, I might have to, you know, clean some stuff up or release it on a different drop, so we'll see. I feel a couple boxes here. Should we pull some boxes first? Oh, I feel a loose shoe. I feel a loose shoe. Let's go for this one. This is pretty grimy, bruv. Oh my goodness. We got a pair of KD. Shoot, I forget the number. I forget the number. KD4s? Oh, somebody's gonna roast me. KD7s. I'm not really too big into KDs, but when I did have KDs, I would have this pair. These are grimy, and I really should be wearing gloves because. Whoever wore this went through the battlefields. Mud everywhere. I mean, this shoe speaks for itself. I don't think this shoe goes for much in good condition. So in a condition like this, we'd be lucky to get even, I would say maybe like 50 bucks, to be honest, but yeesh. It's not looking too good. And this is a size 12 and a half. So big boy size. I don't know if somebody wants these maybe to hoop in. You know where to go, shopsotopia.com. These are pretty grimy though. I'm for sure gonna clean these up, okay? These are not gonna be sold like this. There's, there's, there's no shot. Pretty rough way to start the box so far. That's all I can say. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and pull a box out. Okay, ooh, okay, we got a Jordan 1 box here. That's always good to see. And you guys might hear my vacuum cleaner in the background. There's a lot of stuff going on, man. So hopefully the audio is okay and it's crisp and you guys enjoy this video. I got fish in the background, I got some LEDs. It's just, it is what it is. But anyways, we got a Jordan 1 box here. This is a size 10 and a half pair of Jordan 1s. What kind of Jordan 1s can they be? Ooh, what is that? So we got a nice pair of Jordan 1s. These had a name, they just look like they'd be called the Oreo 1s. I'm not sure if they are called the Oreo 1s, but these are pretty clean. I mean, it's just a nice shoe that you can wear on an everyday basis. Nice gray midsole speckled and it doesn't look like whoever wore this went through the battle zone in these it has all the stars i just don't think that this shoe goes for much because i i've never seen it to be honest at least it's in good condition it seems like it's going to be a good shoe for you know somebody that might not be willing to spend crazy amounts for air jordan one but they still want to rock it i think this is the perfect shoe for them this one is a size 10 and a half Blow! let's pick the next shoe here we got more boxes. Is this the same shoe that we just pulled? Probably the KDs. Yeah, KDs. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. This one kind of feels like a Yeezy box. Probably a Yeezy box. And Yeezy box, of course. Dude, I have like, <laughs> this is like the third pair that I have of these in the same size. So if you guys need these, hit me up. These are the Pier Slides. I believe these ones just dropped not too long ago, maybe a couple weeks ago or a few weeks ago. So these right here are just some nice slides for the spring slash summer. If you guys are trying to get something that's super comfortable, I would highly recommend Yeezy Slides. They're a little bit pricey, not gonna lie, but I mean, if you got bread to spend on some slides, I think they're pretty nice. They look a little goofy at first, but to be honest, once you start wearing these, they just, I don't know, they, they feel really good. They just feel really, really good. And since they just dropped these, the prices aren't too crazy. I remember when Yeezy slides were going for over 300 bucks. Insane. Don't pay 300 for some Yeezy slides. I'll have these for whatever market price is. I believe it's like 200 bucks. So if you guys need these, hit me up. I got like three total in a size nine now. So 
Boom! Yeezy slides. Not bad. Okay, so so far how I'm feeling with everything, I feel I feel okay because the Yeezy slides have been the best pick so far. The KDs was just like, why even have those in the box? The ones they're cool. It's just like a it's not really a highly coveted shoe that I know is gonna sell for sure, but I don't know. It's just, it's really iffy right now. And that's why I kind of stopped doing these mystery boxes because I ended up getting a lot of boxes where I had shoes that would sit for like, you know, the, the longest time. And I do this to make money. I can't afford to have shoes sitting around like that. So these mystery boxes, man, they, they're super risky. So that's just my disclaimer for you guys. What the hell is this? This box is freaking huge. This feels like a Jordan 11. What do we got? Ooh. Ooh, these are the 2001 Bread 11s. And these things look huge. Replacement insoles, and this pair is, doom, doom, doom. This one is a size 12. This one might not even make the cut because I might just do a restoration video on these. It's separating a lot right here, and I just like, I either have to sell this for super cheap, just based on the condition, or I would have to restore it, put some time into it, and then I could sell it for a little bit more, but I don't know. Maybe I'll feel this one out. It looks like it has some bukkake stains on the heel. These are honestly my favorite shoes to wear when I was in high school, though. I would wear this with a Chicago Bulls starter jacket, and I thought I was the freshest kid in school, so seeing this brings me back for sure, but the value of it is not going to sell for too much with you know, separation. This one could be a hit or miss. It's, it's hard to put a value on something like this. Nice seeing the shoe though. Brings me back to high school, but in terms of uh, business flip, kind of hard to gauge this one. All right, let's get into, maybe I'll grab this heavy box. This box is freaking, unless there's stuff hanging on here. What is this? This feels like, this gotta be a Jordan 4. It just, I feel the side, the little tab things or wings. Jordan 4. I actually remember when these first came out, my homie worked at Foot Locker and we went to go get these employee style where you just line up with your other employees and you just boom, get it and dip. I don't think this pair is going for too much money. I wanna say condition on this is probably like an eight out of 10. They're not too bad. Legend Blue 4s right here. Might be dope for a nice little summer shoe. Definitely does need a little cleanup though. Okay, now I'm curious. Now I'm curious because we got a lot of like got a lot of loose shoes hanging around. Boom, bread 11. There's something wrapped up in paper. Yeesh. Oh, okay. Okay. We got some Aqua 8s. Yo, I was scared for a minute. I thought, I thought it was gonna be something. I was not expecting some Aqua 8s. I'll take Aqua 8s any day. And these are actually in really good condition too. Ooh, it's a smaller size. This is a size eight. Size eight, Aqua 8s. Size eight has been a little bit more difficult for me to move just because, I don't know, I don't really have a lot of size eight followers. But if you're size eight and you're looking for some Aqua 8s, for the spring slash summer, you know where to go. And these are in beautiful condition. I will give you the same wrapping it came in, since it looks like it doesn't come with a box. But man, these are actually, these are actually pretty crispy. All the eights that I've been seeing lately, they've been cooked. Definitely an interesting box so far. Again, I have this huge box in here. It's pretty heavy, but I don't, I don't wanna pull this box out yet. So, let's go ahead and grab more of the loose shoes in here. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? I'm gonna close my eyes. I gotta bring it out. What are these? It feels like a runner shoe. It almost feels like a Ronnie Feig or maybe like a Saucony, but I don't, maybe an Asics or New Balance. Ah, A6, I freaking knew it. These are actually really clean. I remember when these first came out and when I first saw this shoe, I was like, who does this remind me of? Mr. David Got Kicks. I believe he has a pair of these. I didn't know that the laces came in this bag right here. What? This is actually pretty nice. Size nine. Okay, if this was a size 10, 
I probably would have kept this. Highly slept on. I used to collect A6 a lot just because the quality of the suede has always been crispy on a pair of A6 and they don't go for too much. Next shoe, next shoe, next shoe. Ooh, we got a pair of Pure Money 4s. As you guys can tell, these are pretty beat. These are annihilated, demolished. These things have been through so much. What's crazy is that I was looking at the prices of these, I think a couple weeks ago. When I looked at the brand new price of a pair of Pure Money 4s, I think that price that it was going for was maybe like 700 bucks, maybe 800 bucks for all white shoe, all white Air Jordan 4. So the price on these, boom, they went up. But in this condition, they're not gonna look too nice. All right, the price is not gonna look good. So I could either sell it like this or I could do a restoration video. I'm leaning more towards a restoration video because these are a size nine. If you want them in this condition, you can message me on Instagram and maybe we can work something out. For now, I think these are just gonna go straight to the channel. I'm gonna restore them and then I'll probably sell them right after. I'm sorry, I gotta peek now. This is pretty bad. Like this, this is actually really bad. This is another pair of Aqua 8s. Do y'all understand what's happening right now? Homie wore these down to the midsole. It's almost like when you ride a bike and you just let your feet drag. That's the only way I can explain it. This is, this is crazy. I'm just gonna throw these on the site for a steal because there's no coming back for this. This is wild. At least the tops look decent though, but. Man, and we got two boxes left. One big box and one small box. Air Jordan 1 Low, Sport Royal Black White, size 10 and a half. Retail 90 bucks. Retail's 90 bucks on Jordan 1 Lows? Ooh. These are kind of like, uh, these are kind of like Royal Toes. I've been wearing the neutral gray Jordan 1 Lows a lot lately. They've been super nice. I never thought that I would be a fan of Jordan 1 Lows, but yeah, I mean, I could see somebody wearing this. This is a clean colorway. Condition's pretty nice. I just don't think they go for too much, but shoot, I'll take these over the eights any day. We'll see, we'll see how much these go for, but not bad, not bad. Size 10 and a half. I'm gonna call these the Royal Toe Lows. Okay, and then to wrap up the last box for the day, ugh, it is a DMP box. It has the wood paneling and everything. Maybe, hopefully we got a pair of DMP ones in here. Or it could be a replacement box. Hopefully not though. Let's go ahead and check this out. Ooh. All right, these are not, <laughs> These are not the DMPs, and these are kind of crusty, but we got a pair of Mellow Ones. I'm gonna take this out first, and then we're gonna take a look at whatever is above it, if there is something, let's see. Oh, okay, okay, all right, we good. We got at least one of them. So if you guys don't remember this pack that came out, it came with the Celtic Ones, and it also came with the band slash bread ones, but they were, they're more of like a, they're kind of like mids though. Yeah, this colorway is clean. I haven't seen somebody wear these since, I think high school, man. Like, I think high school was the first time I actually bought a pair of breads and it was the DMP breads. But yeah, these are nice. I don't know the price of them, but I think a lot of the older Jordan ones, they went up in price. So it's cool to see this. For sure. Celtic ones, size 10. And this released in 2009. Wow. That one's a good shoe. That one's a good shoe. And then these, I had a pair. I just thought the gold was a little bit weird because the material on it is like a, it's kind of like a gold foil or something. It's weird, but I don't know. Some people like these, some people don't. It just says mellow on the tongue. And this one is a size. What size are you, bruv? This one's a size nine and a half. These ones for sure have been worn a decent amount of times, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean these ones up. I'll try to get the price for those. Man, I feel like I got a lot of work ahead of me. I feel a little bit overwhelmed. I'm not gonna lie to you because I wanna get some of these shoes ready for tomorrow's drop, but I don't know which ones I'm gonna keep for the channel, which ones I'm just gonna try to sell as is. 
But yeah, I'm gonna go through all these. I'm gonna try to price everything out for you, edit this video, and we'll see how it goes, all right? Again, if you guys see any shoes that you like from this video, maybe something that I said I wasn't going to sell, you can go ahead and DM me on Instagram at Sneakerhead in the Bay. We could work something out. Totally fine with me. If not, shopsotopia.com tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm gonna try to have most of these shoes on the website ready for the drop. So be there, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The link will be down below in the description. And if you guys aren't following me on Instagram yet, definitely make sure to give me a follow. I've been doing a lot of Instagram reels with the homie David Got Kicks. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know it was really random. I'm kind of getting back into the groove of things. I'll catch you guys very soon for the next one. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace. Shoot.